Sean's got them all hard at it this morning, eh? Yeah. That reminds me. I might get the lady shave out and do a bikini line later. <laughs> Second thoughts. I might leave her. Savage here saying, Buenos dias, senores and senores. She doesn't let up with them bloody announcements, does she? Oh, the woman's got no class. Not got a clue how to run a business. As my Mel used to say, you've either got it or you've not. <laughs> Isn't that what I used to say to the bailiffs and all? I should choose to ignore that. Have you seen this? What? Apparently, there's a gang going about Benidorm kidnapping people off the streets. Oh, don't talk rot. It'll be young slappers coming here, drinking themselves silly and climbing into cars with fellas. No, it says here they're stealing people's organs. A young woman from Chorley went missing for three days, then turned up, dazed and confused, in the car park behind the KFC. This is Benidorm. That's a good night out, is that? Claimed she'd been drugged and had a big scar where a kidney used to be. Bloody hell. Oi, oi, young man, language. You're not too old for a smack on the arse, you know. Oh, it's big business. Kidneys, lungs. <sighs> Says here, Benidorm is becoming the organ theft capital of Spain. Ooh. Morning. Only me. I'm sorry to be late. I was halfway down in the lift and I realised I'd left me tiddlywinks in the room. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Not to worry. I've got them now. Is that one free? Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, flame and heck. That gang didn't leave a number, did they? Staff announcement, staff announcement. Will all members of the poolside team please report to my office? All poolside staff to La Oficina, por favor. Gracias. I don't know what you see in that drip. I don't see anything. Just cos a smile doesn't mean I'll be tugging at his budgie smugglers. There's no harm in a smile. I smile? <laughs> no, you snarl. No wonder you've not had a whiff of it since you've been here. I've not had a whiff of it cos there's nothing that comes up to my standards. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but I think a man likes a woman to be feminine, ladylike. He doesn't want his date to cup a fart and shout, have a bite of that. Excuse me, I have never... Oh, yeah. I bet you, 10 euros, you can't go the whole day and night being ladylike and polite. 20 euros and you're on. Right, 20 euros it is. No being rude, swearing, clearing your nasal <laughs> passages, <laughs> farting, burping the theme tune to The Simpsons or showing violence or threatening behaviour. Violence? Like the other night at karaoke when you grabbed that bloke's knackers and made him sing the communards. How long have I got to keep this up? Till midnight tonight. Hang on, give us a sec. Uh. And in the words of Susan Boyle, I have a dream. This is about standards, and I have invited the editor of Costa Class, Victor St. James, to review the Solana. Costa Class? I never hear of this. Well, it's a witch hotel magazine for Spain. A magazine for witches. Do English people are crazy? This gentleman deals in top-end accommodations, so we have to show him how classy and professional we are. Well, I think I can speak on behalf of all of us when I say that we've been working our bollocks off, so it's only a matter of time till we are shit in class. Yes, but we don't have any time, because he's coming tonight. Tonight? Oh, there, but it was my night off. I know this is very short notice, but Mr St James expects the very best. So I've sent the chef home and... Mateo, I want you in the kitchen. Puta madre. Sounds lovely, but I think we'll stick to paella, traditional Spanish. Leslie, 
Although Victor probably did go to public school and has seen it all, I think you should take the night off and allow Les to handle this. Oh, God bless you, Mrs. Savage. I've never night for so. Oh, bollocks. Liam, I am very impressed how calm you've been. I thought you'd panic for sure. <laughs> Sorry, um, Head Trimmer was giving me a migraine. What have we started yet? Okay, here's another one. I spy with my little eye something beginning with H. Hotel. No. Nope. Hand. Hands. No. Nope. Handbag. No. Nope. Oh, got you all guessing now. Are you having a guess, Mother? Am I shite? Come on. Leave her, she's miserable. OK, then. How about H? For how come I've been sitting here 40 minutes without you getting a drink in? Bone idle, you make Garvey. Can't even supply your own loved ones with a round of drinks. Of course I can. Michael, go and get a round of drinks in for your loved ones, there's a good lad. Lazy bugger. Well, how about you getting me a drink for a change? Ladies don't get the drinks in. A gentleman does that. My Mel was a gentleman. Never left me sitting without a drink in me hand. No, he left you sitting without a pot to piss in, though, didn't he? Oh. Right. I'm not sticking round here to be insulted. Mother is only winding you up. Mick, tell her. She's winding me up. Right. I'm off to shops. H was for holiday. We're all on holiday. Morning, Madge. What's that you're reading? It's the newsletter from the MSA. Oh, that's nice. Duckface Dennis is hosting, but now the finger boofy is at the end of the night rather than the start. Oh, makes sense, I suppose. There's been a whip round for a gum shield for Big Donna Ooh. since she had her braces fitted. Lovely. And the police have asked Fiona and Mandy to drain their hot tub. Oh! There's also a wee article for a phone application that locates swingers in your local area. Really? Can we use it here? Anywhere in the world, apparently. Mm. You just download it, it does a search, and Bob's your uncle. Before you know it, it's grab, flab and stab. <laughs> Not too rough with Mr Dixon, Carmen. And I'd skip the head massage if I was you. Last time it looked like somebody had emptied a box of Special K over the floor. How'd you get your hair like that, Madge? My hair? Oh, it's a mess today. Yeah, I know. I just wondered how you got it like that. Piss off. I was only joking. Maddy old cow. Excuse me. Sorry. Judge, you will be. Excuse me. Do you have a light? Get off me! Who are you? Get off me! Who are you? Gavin. Go away. That's not very polite. Go away, please. Are we feeling a little tender? I beg your pardon? Too much sex on the beach. Have you been speaking to Kenneth? Whatever he said, it's all lies. I meant your head. Cocktail hangover, is it? Look, Noreen, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not in a very good place right now. Well, we can move into the sun if you like. What I mean is that I'm not good company right now. That's still better than no company at all. Now, why don't I go and order a nice coffee and you just sit there and relax? That sounds like bliss. Thank you, Noreen. And when I come back, we can have a lovely game of Scrabble. Empty in 
the drinks you ordered. Good, because I feel like getting absolutely twa twa twanged. Totally twanged. <laughs> this being a lady lark is a piece of cake. You're going to be 20 euros later come midnight. Don't get too cocky. I have a feeling it may get tougher. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what the f Sorry. Sorry, so it was you, you little... Sweetheart, you nearly gave me a heart attack. Old people talk funny. Old? <laughs> right. <laughs> Run along, Sonny. <laughs> Can you believe him? The cheeky little... Uh, uh, uh. The clock's still running. Sorry, Joyce, I'm absolutely chock a block. You must be joking. I've never seen anybody in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. We need to speak to you. It's my mother. Oh, well, certainly. Can I be of assistance? No, we think she's been kidnapped. My son saw her being dragged into the back of a car. Well, they're very keen, these taxi drivers. I mean, you've only got to hang around the bus stop for more than a few moments. They think you're fair game. Oh, for God's sake. It's Madge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I saw her early on. She had a purse. I think she's just gone to the shops. Oh, there you are. She's probably bumped into old friends and got chatting. Friends? You obviously don't know her that well, do you? Michael, tell the woman what you saw. Well, I saw a bloke follow her out of here mm. and I went outside and he was dragging her into the back into of a the car. car. Well, can you describe this gentleman? Well, he was quite tall, he had a beard, but he didn't look English. No. Oh, him. Oh, he was absolutely gorgeous. I asked him if he wanted a hot shave, but I didn't get anywhere. I thought you said you hadn't got any appointments. I can always find an opening for some people, Joyce. Oh, come on, let's go to the police. No, uh, let's not be hasty. Now, uh, you'll get nowhere with the police if she's been missing for less than 48 hours. Now, I've got contacts there, so why don't I speak to them? And you go and look for her. Right, come on. Ah, very nice of you to offer to help. So there is a soft side to La Sauvage after all. We don't want police swarming round the place when our friend arrives later now, do we? You're not busy, are you? What about a French plant? You're mm, joking, aren't you? I had a Chinese buffet for lunch, couldn't eat another thing. Could have helped them look for man. Oh, come on, son. Have you heard anything? Not yet. He's gone far too long. He's nearly siesta. So the supermarkets will be closed. How faith. Did you see him now? Liam, son, are you okay? Okay, son, just calm down, speak very slowly. Which police station are you in? Got ya! Oh. <laughs> now, it wasn't easy. Some of them are quite tricky. I thought Saffron was a posh girl's name, but turns out it's a spice as well. And don't get me started on coming. Wait, there's something missing. The chicken. Tell me you got the chicken. You got the chicken, didn't you, son? Yeah, I told you we could not rely on him. Oh, they were not oh, get sh 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 just relax. Of course I did. What do you think I am, stupid? So where is it? You asked for fresh. <laughs> Jacqueline, that's another one come through. Oh, let's have a look. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Reminds me of the old Amsterdam days. Are they my legs? It would appear so. Oop. Hello. They're coming thick and fast now. Oh, it must be that picture of Condoleezza Rice that I put on my profile. Hmm. You're a very good likeness in the right light. Oh, it's no good, it's still switched off. Mick, what are we going to do? Just calm down, we'll find her, all right? What if we don't? What if the gang's got her and they're cutting her up and taking her organs? Michael, for goodness sake, now, stop that. 
They're not going to be chopping your nana up. They're just going to make an eight to ten inch incision across Nick. your chest. <laughs> yeah, I've got these. These should help. What are they? Oh, here we go. We'll find her in no time with these. Oh, do you reckon? You see, I think I got the scooter wrong. No, I don't flaming reckon. She ain't even on a scooter. Answers to the name. Christ! She's not a poodle. Well, sorry, I was only trying to help. Over there! Spanish to follow that car. Dino, follow that car. Oh, Hiya. You all right? Your friend promised me an ice cream but didn't pay up. How do you mean? She said if I threw my ball at you, she'd buy me an ice cream. Did she now? Well, how's about I treat you to one? Yeah, go on. But first, I need you to do me a little favour. Oh. It looks dead sad. Yeah. <laughs> Push me mind to somebody here. Uh... Mm. Meryl Streep. Oh. What are you two going on about now? You know, I'm on that, that film. What, what was it called? Um... Um... Sophie's Choice. Oh. Oh, no, poor Meryl. Don't get too attached. Soon you have to decide which one of you will be there. No, we can't do that. Look at her little face. Oh, do you have any better ideas? Matilda! Quick, hide it. Oh, there you are. How's it coming along? Good. It's all good. You seem a bit edgy. Oh, I have a lot to do. This recipe has to be perfect for you. <laughs> what was that? What was what? That is... <laughs> Sounded just like there again. No, that was probably me. I've got this um, gagging reflex to the smell of rice mm. cooking. Well, it didn't sound like you that time. No, it was me. And um, family trait. Buckle! 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 Less is time. Liam, it's time. I'm going to take them somewhere quiet, and then... No, I, I, don't, I don't want to know. Just, just do it quickly. Won't the ice cream melt while you're eating your burger? No, it's not my ice cream. It's Scott's. Who's Scott? Go, Scott. I know your tricks. You won't break me. Shit! Now, now. It's not very ladylike, is it? Same car. Yeah. Bloody rubbish. We could have walked faster. What are you doing, seeing if it's still warm? No, I was just wondering if this shade of silver goes with my colouring. This is definitely the car. Oh, there's still no answer. Maybe she's all right. I mean, she didn't exactly look terrified when we saw her. Mm, you have to watch these Arabs, you know. I once did a week in Sharm El Sheikh and they're all please and thank you as you're getting into the taxi. Then you get to the other end and the fares triple what they asked for and you have to nosh them off into the bargain. Oh, anybody else hungry? <coughs> Shh. <coughs> Mick! <coughs> oh. oh my God, Jacqueline, are you all right? What are you? Here. What's going on? Have you seen Madge? Yes, she's sterilised, Doctor. Kenneth, what a lovely surprise. Mick, Janice. What the hell's going on? Perhaps we should step outside. 
Come on, Michael, out. Out! So what? Are you involved in all this organ transplant stuff? Organ transplant? No, no, no. This is all very consenting. So, what were you doing in there? Just a bit of role-play. We were supposed to join a session this evening, but we couldn't find an astronaut costume to fit Jacqueline. Did you say you were looking for Madge? Last time we saw her, she was, um... Nanny! Oh, Mother, thank God you're all right. Oh, I'm all right. I've been worried sick. We thought you'd been kidnapped. Kidnapped? What the frig are you talking about? Oh, it don't matter, as long as you're safe. But I saw that fella drag you into the car. Oh. There he is. Madge? Is everything all right? Everybody. I'd like you to meet Mohammed. Hello. Is everything all right? Yes, yes. A bit of a heavy afternoon. My wife's lost most of the feeling in her legs, but we're hoping she'll be all right by this evening. I hope the accident didn't occur on Solana premises. Oh, don't worry, there was no accident. Just overdid it slightly, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Yes, I see. Well, plenty of time to relax now. No, no, we've got another session lined up for this evening. Session? Yeah. All credit to this wee gizmo here. Are you familiar with Swing Finder? Swing Finder? Oh, yes, the must-have app for the modern-day swinger. Oh, no, it's not another one, is it? Uh, no, it's just confirmation of tonight's session. Oh, I say, they're sending a car for us. Now, that's stylish. Oh, uh, lovely. I'm sure there's room for another if you're at a loose end this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mohammed. You're most welcome. So, let's get this straight. You know my mother through Mel, is that right? Mel did a bit of business with Mohammed's dad. Did he now? Yes, I met Maja's husband several times with my father. Mel told us all about his beautiful wife. Yeah, he was married before, Maj. Mick. So, you just came to Benidorm to see my mother? Well, I had something to return to Maj. Mel left us behind in Mohammed's dad's office the day before he passed away. Thankfully, this young man had the good grace to come here to return it to me. You've come all this way to return a cigarette case and a picture. I'm sorry, I just don't believe you. What is wrong with you? Please, um, Janice? Beautiful name. <laughs> this is my third time in Benidorm in the last year. And every time I have business in Spain, at the end of my trip, I spend a couple of days here and wonder if I will find the wonderful woman Mel spoke of with so much passion and respect. We have a saying in my country, you must look in many fields before you find the missing cow. Yeah, with a saying in my country, you're talking absolute bollocks. Nobody spends a year looking for someone they never met to give them a crappy old sick case and a worn-out photo. He brought his lighter as well. Oh, well, at five for a pound, that saved you 20 pence. Oh, uh, Mr Garvey, I understand your scepticism. As a son-in-law, you obviously have a love and respect for Madge that knows no bounds. <clears throat> but when I discovered Mel died in Marrakesh and that I had been one of the last people he spoke to, I felt passing on his possessions, however small, was the right thing to do, the honourable thing to do. We thought you were going to cut me nana up and sell her organs. <laughs> Apparently, there's a gang in Benidorm kidnapping people and selling their organs. On the telly, it said they even sell their skin. Yeah. When we heard our Michael had seen you grab Madge, we thought you were a hitman for World of Leather. <laughs> this makes sense. So the woman with red hair, perhaps she was from this gang. Yeah, this woman with red hair tried to grab me. She was with two fellas and a white van. A white van? That's them. Oh, my God, Mother. But Mohammed grabbed me off her and put me in his car. Save me Nana's life. Oh, please. I only did what anyone else would do. Now, I would like you to be my guests for dinner this evening at my hotel, the Asia Gardens. Oh, that sounds nice. No. You saved my mother's life. 
We'll be buying you dinner tonight. Mick? Well, he's just said he wants to buy us dinner. All right. Yeah, we'll take you to a little place we know, not far from here. It's very exclusive. It's called Neptunes. Well, between me and you, he's, he's gone to choke the chicken. Only, uh, he's been gone 20 minutes, so I think he might be struggling. It's an age thing. He likes to think he's hard, but... Right. Maybe I should go and give him a hand. OK. I tried earlier, but, but, but I couldn't finish it off, so he went out the back to try himself. Poor Meryl. Meryl? That's his little pet name for it. <sighs> Hello. Joyce Temple Savage, welcome to the Solana. You must be Victor. Victor St James, Costa Class Magazine. Thank you for coming, we're delighted. I'll tell you something, love. I am absolutely bursting for the bog. Oh, well, um, we have full toilet facilities on all levels. Yeah, well, this drinking pints is no use for me. I'll just siphon the python and I'll meet you for the cheeky half in the bar, yeah? Over there, yeah? I'm telling you, man, she's got this way of looking at you. It is a he, not a she. What? It is a cock. I know a cock when I see one. Well, it's as if he's looking right into your soul. I couldn't do it, man. Ah, you will not hurt a chicken, but you will see my family starve. Because if I don't get this paella right, I will get fired. Can we not make a vegetarian paella? Vegetarian? This is Spain. We eat meat. Hostia. I will have to take care of it myself. It takes a real man to do a man's job. Huh? I'll be back shortly. Room for a little one? Oh, gosh. I say. Isn't it a lovely colour of blue with the water in Spain? Yes. Noreen, I just want to say sorry about earlier. I was a bit off. Oh, don't worry about it. What do you say I take you out for a nice meal tonight? My way of saying sorry. We can eat at Neptune's. I said a nice meal. <laughs> Well, I bet not. We're on holiday. It's nice to do something a bit different. Yes. Oh, I'm really sorry, Victor. I didn't realise you were here. I've been waiting for you outside the loo. Careful. So I got started. Oh, Kenneth. Shouldn't you be manning the International Beauty Salon? We're very lucky to have Kenneth. He's very big all over the Costas. Chance to be a fine thing. Uh, yeah, he was just telling me about his celebrity client list. Celebrity? Apparently he's done them all. Yeah, and I've cut their hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you style Elton John's hair? Well, between me and you, Victor, I just pop it on an eco wash and tumble dry it for half an hour. He's none the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Kenneth, could I have a little word with one? Just from a. Do excuse us. <laughs> what are you playing at? Have you been sniffing the permanent solution again? No, I'm trying to inject a bit of excitement. <laughs> Did you not know he was in Lorette de Mar last week and he gave this place five stars because they had the quilted bog roll? He knows his onions, this one, you know. Yes, well, thank you, I can handle it. I've had a lot of experience dealing with high-class clientele. High-class? You've got to be joking. He's rough as a badger's ass. Victor may be presenting himself as an uncouth northerner with low standards, of course, turn of phrase, but it's all a ploy to catch us off our guard. Could I offer you one of our signature cocktails? Any brown ale will do for me, Jill. Joyce. And, uh, 
Fetch us some more of them nuts, will you? I think that's them. What you doing, man? <laughs> oh, what have you let out the cage for? He's got this way of looking at you. Ah! It's OK, Meryl. It's OK. Be very quiet, very still. When he does not expect it, I will pounce. One, two, three. Oh, he's gone back. Ah. Ah. Oh, my, the leg, the leg, no, oh, the dog. We offer live entertainment seven nights a week. Right. You'll notice a nautical theme throughout, reflecting in the name Neptunes, coming from the Latin for sea, as in nep, and tunes, as in music. <laughs> so, Victor, what do you think so far? To be honest with you, it's all right. All right? I mean, a place like this, there's only so much you can do with it. Bargain bucking stuff, this love inside. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for giving the punters what they want, but this lot here, egg and chips, dose of prickly eat, like pigs in shit. Well, I wouldn't. Oh, the crowd that run it, they're not daft. That's why they got you in. Well, exactly. And more crisps. Oh, this is Matteo Castellanos. He's our head barman. He's very experienced and always goes that extra mile for the customers. Matteo. Could you please get Mr. St. James a selection of nibbles? Matteo! A selection of nibbles for Mr. St. James, please. What is nibbles? And some dips and crudités, if you please. I do not know what any of these things are. Very conscientious member of staff, isn't it, hey? It must be looking for some broken glass or some... Right. Get you some more crisps. I cannot find it anywhere. Well, you know a lame, he'll find it. Right. Vegetarian paella. Come on up. Oh, no, lame son. What has he done now? He's left the heat on, man. It's ruined. Oh, no. That's it. It's all over. Aye, well, as my old dad used to say, you can't polish a turd, but you can spray it with air freshener. What does it mean? It means we'll go to plan B. But you cannot cook. You want a bet? Hey, I was a chef on the old rigs before our lean was born. What I can't do with a couple of gas rings and a wooden spoon, it's nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. I've never had seal before. I think you'll find that was veal, Noreen. Was it? Better not tell our Jeff. He's very funny about that sort of thing. <laughs> Are you missing your fella? I'm managing. What about that nice chap that has the hairdressers? What about him? Well, would you and him not make a nice couple? <laughs> Troy and I haven't actually split up. And um, besides, I don't think he'd really be my type. No, true. I mean, he's quite botch, isn't he? Everything's so out in the open these days. My day, it was all hush-hush. <laughs> I remember a lovely young lass called Georgie Smith. She ran the mobile shop. Everybody said they thought she was a bit, you know. Really? Just cos she wore steel cap boots and made me lift me skirt and show her my knees before she'd give me my change. 
I don't know. Would you like a dessert? I don't think so, thank you. It's always best not to go on a full stomach. Remember that night with the lovely couple from Himmel Hempstead? How could I forget? Scotch egg and Guinness is a heady mix indeed. Still no sign of the driver. I'm sure he'll be fine, though. It seems very well organised. Seeing as we're celebrating my nana not being kidnapped and chopped up, can I have a proper drink? How many times? No. <sighs> Mum. I know. You're 13, you can have a ginger beer. What's that? It's as good as it gets, son. At least it's got the word beer in it. Oh, nice one. This food is um, very interesting. Um, I don't think I've tasted anything like this before. No, you won't have done. What's the food like in Marrakesh? I bet it's not like this. No, not at all. Um, it, it is, um, uh, how do you say, um, fresh. So, um, what kind of business are you in, Mohammed? You've obviously got a lot of time on your hands. Have you got absolutely no manners whatsoever? I work for my father. He has many business interests. He first started many years ago making rugs for three hotel chains in Marrakesh. In fact, the first time I met Mel, he was admiring a rug in my father's shop. Oh, and don't tell us, he bought one and never paid for it. How much do we owe you? My father now owns all three of those hotel chains. He still has his rug shop. He kept it out of sentimental reasons. But there is a small matter of Mel's business dealings in Marrakesh. Here we go. I wonder how long it'll take. Mel had invested a considerable amount of money in Marrakesh, and um, I would like to help you to retrieve it. You are? We can discuss that tomorrow. This is not a time for business. This is a time for remembrance and celebration. Celebration of the life of a good man. Here, here. Well, we don't mind talking about business now, do we? Here's to Mel Harvey. Well, what are we talking about, Mel? I mean, like a property, a bar, what? Well, tomorrow. Mel Harvey. Dad, are you all right? You sweating? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever worn a kilt. But it's quite nice, you know, in this heat, because it lets all the air into your bit. What's up with your face? Do you know, Kenneth, <clears throat> I think I know exactly what game Mr St James is playing. He's trying to lure me into dropping my guard, but I'm afraid he's picking on the wrong character. Yeah, can have a quiet word, Mr Savage. Where's Matteo? Where's the paella? Yeah. Oh, it's just coming. Yeah, Matteo says he's very sorry about the delay, but he had to make a few minor adjustments to the recipe. Right, I needed that. Uh, Victor, <laughs> this is Les. He is one of several Michelin star chefs who work at our Solana. You are right, Paul? Nice to meet you. Michelin star? Uh -huh. Do you know Francois Shelley? Yeah. Yeah. He rings a bell there. You play for Carlisle? <laughs> oh, here we are then, Victor. I asked the kitchen staff to make you something a little bit special. Come on. I'm sure Mr. James is bound to be hungry. He's only had eight, eight bags of crisps. <laughs> Ta da! Bangers and mash. Oh, I would proper English bangers. None of your Spanish shite. Oh, my God. Which I'm so sorry. I specifically asked the kitchen staff to make you a traditional Spanish dish. You are? Traditional Spanish? I can't be buggered with any of that muck. No, this is proper grub, this is. Hey, I can told you, Jill. Give the punters what they want. Huh? We don't understand it. Get us a knife and fork. Oh. Well, I must say, Eliza Doolittle, your transformation to a lady is almost complete. And so is my 20 euro reward. Don't remind me. I hope you're going to put it towards getting absolutely wasted tonight. Maybe. Might just take it easy, though. There's a sightseeing tour of a local church tomorrow morning. I want to be off for that. <laughs> you're not serious, are you? Why not? I've been missing out on culture and polite society. Might just give it a shot. Better than lying in bed and there's no hangover. I've created a bleeding monster. I want my best mate back, the one that farts and swears and arm wrestles for drinks. She's a thing of the past, Sam. This is the new and improved me. 
Right. One more than an early night, I think. Are you sure I can't tempt you to a cafe con leche by the pool? Nah. Victor, let's cut to the chase. You are. <laughs> we both know what's been going on. I've had 25 years in the service industry. It takes a lot to pull the wool over my eyes. Oh, <laughs> right. OK, then. How does 400 sound? What? Mm, go on, then. 350, provided you can make it British money. Exchange rate's crap at the minute. I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, I see what you're doing. A bit exposed here, is it? We can always go through somewhere a bit more private and discuss it. Hang on. You want me to pay for this review? <laughs> Of course I do. How else do you think a dump like this is going to get a decent write-up? 350? Yeah. I can't afford that. Look, it's deal or no deal. You have a little think about it. I'll just uh, slip off to the... The bargain, eh? All right, gorgeous. Hiya. I was just uh, admiring the view. Of what? Oh, I see. If I'd known that, I would have charged you. Oh. Oh, that's sorry. Uh, um, how does 20 euros sound? I beg your pardon. All right, 25. You don't have to push their look around here. You really need to move your hand. I think it's fine where it is, huh? Do you? Yeah. Excuse me one minute. <gasps> 20 euros. <gasps> Dickhead. 50? And I might have thought about it. <gasps> Eliza has left the building. <laughs> Still no sign. I don't understand it. I'll pop to the ladies and freshen up. Vais los dos a la fiesta? Hmm? Party, party. Ah, yes, party of two. I got the manager to call us a taxi. I don't trust the ones on the street. Uh, yes, that's us. <laughs> Rose. Ah, yes, she's an English Rose. Come on, Noreen, let's head back. Wait. Before we go, a toast. He is to making mistakes. <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> to spot us now. Uh, did they tell you where we were going at the restaurant, the Solana? Si, si, me lo han dicho. I always get the ones that don't speak any English. Oh, sod it. I'm not going to worry anymore, Noreen. Que sera, sera. Que sera, sera. Sera el polvo de vuestra vida. Just nod. It's easier. <laughs> si, senor. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Victor. Oh. I do hope you won't hold this against us in any way, because I wouldn't mind. want to... I think I'll just step outside for a spot of air. Oh. Feel a little bit... Yes, uh, just a minute. Um... <laughs> Everything all right, Mr. Savage? Yes, it's a disaster. Oh, I wouldn't worry. He's even enjoy himself. But what sort of stuff is he going to print about us now? It'll take a miracle to get us out of this. Excuse me. Do have a light. Don't smoke, darling. You must have healthy lungs, then. Hmm. <laughs> Not as healthy as yours, love. Hey, 
Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's this? What's happening? What are you doing? Hey, God, hey! Ah!